Alright, here we have uh, the new Emacs RS 1106 motors. Uh, they come in three different KV values, 4500, 6000, and 7500. Uh, these were sent in by Emacs for review, so thanks Emacs for sending this uh, test sample so I can uh, put them through the test and share the results uh, with my viewers. Thanks a lot. So they come in this uh, anti-static bag. And as you can see, I guess to avoid uh, counterfeit, they have, I think they have this, yeah, they have this scratch serial uh, number there for each of the motors. So that's for the uh, anti-counterfeit uh, measures. They kind of list the uh, specs right here. KVs, dimensions, number of cells, what propellers to use. But anyways, we almost never pay attention to those and they include a set of stickers and uh, a bunch of screws uh, these are all allen screws different lengths uh, so here's the motors uh, pretty good looking they look just like the their bigger brothers the rs motors uh, red bottom and with the black top uh, so something interesting is uh, they have uh, two different sets of uh, mounting holes for the props uh, these two are the typical ones the more common ones for the most of the props we use so let's see what they weigh uh, it says seven grams on the uh, on the packaging on the specs it's seven grams so and they come with uh, uh, this is 50 millimeters worth of wire uh, so that's one of the things that I think Emacs should um, revise, maybe provide a little bit longer, maybe, oh I don't know, maybe 80 to 100 millimeters so that uh, we don't have to splice wires when we use center mounted uh, 4-in-1 ESCs. So that would be a good uh, addition to have, uh, makes it easy. So let's see what it weighs. Uh, so this weighs 7.4 grams. So they do list 7 grams for the motor without wires, I believe that. 0.4 grams for these wires, yep. Sounds about right. So, it's the usual Emacs construction. Uh, pretty good uh, quality, everything feels pretty tight. So let's, uh, let's take it apart and see. I'll just give it a little inspection. So as we can see, the stator is it, yeah it measures the nominal uh, six millimeters so no surprises there six millimeters tall and as usual from Emacs pretty neat windings one thing I did notice on this is that they're using two millimeter motor shaft so that's a uh, that's pretty good that's pretty good uh, they went with a full two millimeters most of the motors will use one and a half millimeters so these are two millimeters all the way through and then it's turned down here for the prop. Uh, so that's pretty good because uh, that achieves two things. Well the first one, most obvious one is that uh, it's going to be, this is going to be a stronger shaft than the 1.5 of course. So it'll, it'll resist bending uh, more, you know, like in, in a really harsh cr crash, you know, you have a thicker shaft. So possibly it'll it'll keep it from bending. Um, the other thing that it, it it helps with is that there's gonna be more contact area between the shaft and the bell. Uh, so that uh, may help with the problems that we see with the size motors, which is where the um, when we're putting the prop, uh, you know, you push on the shaft because the prop hole is too small and it fits too tight so when we're trying to put the prop we end up pushing the shaft back and then you end up with a vertical play on the motor uh, because it pushes the shaft that way so then we we end up with vertical play so with this thicker shaft and if you if they'd use adhesive there then there's gonna be more contact area so so hopefully that that does help but anyways, the best thing to do with those with props is to enlarge the center hole. Uh, you use a 116 drill bit, and I, I've mentioned that in my other videos. Uh, you use a 116 drill bit, and then just kind of like 
uh, well you just enlarge the hole and that way it it'll just go right in and that that hole is not it, it really it's really not used uh, because you have these two other the two screws they locate the prop you know they'll center it just fine so so there's no no issues there that works really great uh, so a viewer on YouTube suggested that yeah one other thing I, I noticed which is uh, not uh, not very common on these size motors actually uh, I think this is the first motor I see that they're using balancing mud right there you see the blue epoxy there so it looks like they actually uh, went ahead and dynamically balance these bells. That really shows how Emacs is very, uh, very concerned about uh, quality control in their motors. Uh, you know, balancing these small uh, motors—it's uh, uh, the first time I see it. So overall, uh, very uh, well put together motor. So we'll put it. We'll put all this through the thrust stand and see how they compare against the other 1106 motors that I've uh, run so far. Uh, so you know we'll have uh, even more 1106 uh, for the database to you know to have an idea of which motor is uh, more powerful. You know with the different props and uh, how they handle each of the props. You know how many amps they draw. Uh, which gives you a good indication of uh, how the motor uh, will uh, perform in the air. Uh, you know, if a motor is going to be a lot stronger than other motors, then of course it's going to be uh, more powerful uh, once flying. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the thrust test and see how these uh, motors do. All right, so those were the thrust test runs for the new motor from Imax, the Baby RS 1106-6000KV. As we saw, the motor measure at a slightly higher 6100KV, so 100KV higher, which in this case I think it's a, it's a good thing. It's pretty good for these uh, 2 and 3 inch props to have a slightly higher than 6000KV when you want to run them on 3S. As you see, it does make a little bit of a difference. I ran the motor on 2S and 3S, since these are the voltages that uh, best match the KV on this motor and the props that, uh, that I tested on. I do understand some, some people actu are actually running this motor on 4S. Uh, I've been told that the motor can run uh, 4S on some of these props and that it's, it's just extremely fast, they say. And the motor can take it and some mentioned that it, it gets somewhat warm but it's not uncomfortably hot that's uh, amazing that this motor can run 4s w with some of these props so that's something to investigate but uh not on the thrust stand on the thrust stand if i 
uh, imagine if I use 4S, uh, because of the higher stress that uh, the motors are put through on the thrust stand, uh, it might uh, damage the windings. Amps are already a little bit high, so that's uh, kind of risky. Though uh, some of these 2 inch props, I could probably run it on 4S, like this one. I'm only getting 10 amps on 3S. All these props that are below 15 amps, all the, these 2 inch props should be able to run on 4S. With the 3S, you, you're going to be able to see the performance of the motor compared to others, which is the main, uh, the main purpose of the test, is just to compare motors under equal conditions. So if we see that this uh, 1106 from Emacs on this voltage performs better than any other motor then we know that it's just going to be more powerful and if it can run 4s even more powerful so i went ahead and tested these two new props that i just recently got uh, the new gen fan hulk keys 1940 and the 2040 by 3 uh, pretty good props i actually been running this 1940 as on one of my micros that i tested recently the armor 90 and i, I really liked it. it it flies really well and it's very durable uh, the plastic they're using is just i think one of the best plastics for this size prop it's it just almost unbreakable really good prop and very well balanced no vibrations at all and Moving on to the props, as, you, as we see, this motor actually so far is one of the most uh, powerful 1106 motors I've tested uh, on 3S at 6000 kV. So this King Kong 2840 by 3 is uh, kind of a mystery. A lot of people, uh, I've seen a lot of people telling me that it, they just love this prop, it, that it runs really well. But on the thrust end, it, it, it kind of bogs, the, bogs down the motor, uh, I guess, because it, it's it's kind of an aggressive prop so it doesn't really show very high performance on the thrust stand but people say that that it, it flies really well so that's that's one to you know to to try if you guys want to try that prop uh, a lot of people are are raving about it on these uh two and a half inch props it's pretty much breaking the 300 gram barrier so that's that's quite good you know any anytime you get one of these 1106 motors uh getting 300 grams and above on the thrust stand, you know it's going to be a very fast motor. And with these 3 inch props, very close to 400 grams, that's pretty amazing. So as you see, the, the motor is pretty powerful, pretty powerful motor. Emacs has done a really good job on these 1106s. You won't be disappointed with this motor. So far, everybody that's running this motor is pretty happy with them and and they say it, uh, it's turned their quads into r little rockets. So. Uh, so okay, that's uh, the review and thrust test for this motor. I uh, hope you find the information useful. Emacs has done a really good job on this motor. As you saw, it's one of the more powerful motors I've uh, ran for this particular size. And uh, they've also sent me the 7500 kV and 4500 kV versions of this motor. So I'll be testing those pretty soon. So keep an eye out for those uh, reviews and tests. I'll have him up as soon as I can. Uh, once again, thanks for watching and uh, until the next video.